Hey guys, welcome back to Gun Productions, and in today's video, we'll be unboxing the new for 2024 Lowe's Headless Knight from the Haunted Mansion. So if y'all didn't know, last year at Lowe's, they came out with the Caretaker from the Haunted Mansion, and he sold pretty well. So this year, they brought out the Headless Knight from the Haunted Mansion, which is one of the most iconic characters in the graveyard scene. Not necessarily the whole ride. I'm not sure why they chose him over, like, um... The Hitchhikers or Hatbox Ghost. I know the bride was planned, but she did got, she got canceled for some reason. Um, it's not approved or something. So they brought out the Headless Knight, which is fine. He's still a pretty iconic character overall compared to some of the other ghosts in the attraction. Um, but as you can see here, his box is massive. It's way bigger compared to the uh, Caretaker, and he's also a lot heavier than the Caretaker too, which I think is just because most of his pieces are blow molded plastic versus you know just fabric. So are going to go ahead and get him unboxed here. I just picked him up last night as of recording this video. So I have not seen any of his uh, parts yet in person. I have seen one video of him, but, um, but that's about it. Okay, wow. He is gonna be a pretty big animatronic. His base is huge. It's a super like thick base. Oh my god, okay. This whole thing is just one giant piece. I've never seen a piece this big on any animatronic that is not like a 12 footer. This thing is huge. And all of his other pieces too are all blow molded plastic besides the head, which is a latex. Um, and ah, this guy is just huge, man. Like all of his parts like look at his shoe look at my face that's a big shoe the legs and everything is very bulky um i can see why he was 300 honestly i know people are like that's too much which it kind of is but i can honestly kind of see why they put him at 300 just because of all like the actually humongous pieces that he has so now after getting all the pieces sort of organized and out of the box, I'm now just putting together the animatronic. Now despite how big and bulky this character is, he's actually a pretty easy setup. Uh, it's pretty much just a blow mold that you just kind of, you know, fit the pieces together. Very similar to how like I've seen with like the 12 footers be built. Um, you just kind of slide the pieces in together, you know, they're all kind of like sockets and stuff. And it's very simple overall. He doesn't really have much movement to him. He's mostly a static actually besides just the mouth movement. So you're kind of just building a static prop to be honest. Um, and yeah, overall, it's not a very hard setup at all, very easy, and honestly, it would be a very good, like, beginner animatronic. Alright, and now we're going to go into a demo of him. Basically, he just sings the song from the Haunted Mansion, so I really hope this, this uh, doesn't get me copyrighted, but it probably will. Alright, now to talk about the prop itself, its pros and cons, and all that good stuff. Overall, I think it's a pretty decent animatronic. Now, would I prefer it if we got another character? Yes. But I still think that this is a really, I guess, recognizable character for any fan of the Haunted Mansion. Like, you walk up to, like, someone's yard and you see this in it, and it's like, yeah, that looks like it's from the Haunted Mansion. You know what I mean? And even if it's not a recognizable character to most people, it still is kind of like a fun character to have in your cemetery you know um he can pass for like a statue or just like a ghost knight or anything like that kind of on the line dancing on the line of like silly and you know just a little eerie i guess um but overall he's a decent animatronic i wish he had more movement and my main con from is honestly like the audio like the audio itself is fine it was just like the voice box is super screechy and i feel like you know it's 2024 and we should be past that stage but overall i do think the animatronic is fine maybe not worth the 300 dollars, but if you can find a coupon or something then i think it'd definitely be worth it. anyways that'll do it for this unboxing make sure to like comment and subscribe and tell me down in the comments below what do you think of the lowe's headless knight from the haunted mansion anyways guys i'll see you in the next one bye